Hello and welcome to this Cubase Quick Tips video, which is about a minor frustration which used to happen to me quite a lot. I used to use the mute tool all the time. And what I used to find is I'd get ahead of myself and I would select some parts for whatever reason. So here we've got just a few things selected across different tracks. And I'd want to mute them. And then I'd realize I wasn't using the mute tool. Sometimes I'd click on the mute tool and think, maybe magically it's going to work. It, it never worked. There is a way around this. So if you've made a complex selection and you don't want to lose it, it's pretty straightforward once you know where to go. So if you've got the info line open, you should see mute up here. If not, you can change the settings to do that. But by default, you'll see that. And you just click here and it mutes these parts. Click it again. It will unmute them. That's pretty good. It will save you losing your selection. But depending on the size of your screen can be a fair bit of mouse mileage. So you probably want a keyboard shortcut to do that. You might try M. But by default, M just mutes the track or tracks you've got selected, which isn't what we want. If you do Shift M, it does work. So Shift M will mute all these parts. But if you try it again, it doesn't unmute them. That can be useful in some situations, but that's not what we're looking for here. We want to be able to toggle them on and off. And you can do that with Alt M or Option M if you're on a Mac. So if you do that, you can see these are toggling on and off. It's exactly the same as clicking up in the info line, but doesn't involve any mouse mileage. So it's nice, quick, and easy to do. You can quickly toggle those on and off and then go about your day happy in the knowledge that you've not been held up by selecting the wrong tool. As I say, I rarely use the mute tool, if at all. In fact, I think looking now, I probably don't use most of the tools here because there are other options available to you, which again mean you're not even right clicking to load up a different tool. You can just press a keyboard modifier and crack on. Anyway, as ever, hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.